I feel like I kind of look like an octopus with my new hair. It's like, like cool colors, like bioluminescent vibes. I don't know. <laughs> lovely humans welcome to this space on the internet so I have not been doing good for a variety of reasons that the internet will never know but basically for me that means that I do not have the brain capacity to make any useful content right now because I do not have the brain cells I do not have the capacity in any sense to make videos with any nuance to properly articulate concepts that I want to related to queer things and such. So I'm not gonna make any important videos. <laughs> Instead, we're just gonna look through octopus pictures for a bit because I love octopuses. Um, say hello to Echo. She is just one of my octopus plushies. So we're gonna look at some different types of octopuses. I'm not claiming that any of these are my favorite, I just think they're all cool. I have no claim to favorite right now, although the pygmy octopus. So we're just gonna look at a few that are really cool and you can vibe with me. Octopus human vibes. So let's go. I have a Google Doc that I started to just keep track of information about octopuses. So we're just gonna look through some of the different types of octopus. So let's look at the blue ringed octopus. Okay, so the blue ringed octopus has those like little little like hot blue rings, right? They're really cool. They I feel like they this is just me trying to recall it from memory, but I believe that blue ringed octopuses have enough venom to like kill about 26 humans? Is that true? Apparently it can only be found along among the warm and shallow waters of uh, the Australian coast. Can you eat it? No, you cannot eat it. <laughs> Even if you cook it. <laughs> That's funny. Apparently one milligram of its toxin can kill a human. And there is no antidote. Damn, these guys are lethal. They're kind of cute though. I like how they look. Like, look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. Also, they glow. They're amazing. I love them. Anyways, Blue Ring and Octopus, I rate it 10, 10 for 10. Very good. Very good octopus. Let's look up the Dumbo Octopus. So the Dumbo Octopus has ears. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, let's look at a few. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They are a Serena suborder octopus. I believe it's pronounced Serena. I don't actually know. It's like C-I-R-R-I-N-A. Um, because you can either be Serena or in Serena. In Serena is the ones with like, usually like eight arms extending out. It's what you typically think of when you think of an octopus. It's like, like this. And Serena octopuses are more like, like little blankets. <laughs> Their arms aren't as distinct. They have like webbing. And each of their suckers have like cirri, cirri, um, basically like little filaments on them. There's a few other differences, but that's the main one. So I think double octopuses are Serena octopuses. And look at their little ears! <laughs> they are adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, I rate them 10 out of 10 too. Dumbo octopus. Amazing. Alright, let's look at the blanket octopus. Jeez, Caden, stop it like me too much. Blanket octopus. These ones I know look cool. I know all these octopuses already, so I'm just doing this for you guys because I love you and want to share my love of octopuses with you. Oh, by the way, it is octopuses, not octopi, because I believe octopus is not derived from a Latin root, it's derived from a Greek root. I could be wrong on this. So if it were Latin, octopi would be correct, but I believe it is Greek, or otherwise not in Latin, it might not be Greek. But that's why it's octopuses. Octopi is not, like, linguistically correct. Although, English is already a mashup of all sorts of different linguistic components, so like, I'm not gonna be strict about it, but like, it is technically octopuses. And that's why. Oh my gosh, look at these blanket octopuses. Oh, they're so rainbow. I love them, I love rainbows. <laughs> Okay, so these ones are gorgeous. Iridescent. Oh, they're beautiful. So I think the thing about blanket octopuses is that they have like, like sort of two main, like tentacle-like things with like the blanket part attached, and then the rest don't actually have a blanket. 
but yeah, the blanket's really striking and pretty. So 10 for 10. I rate the blanket octopus 10 out of 10. Next, we're going to look at the pygmy octopus. I love this one. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. So the pygmy octopus is like one of the smallest species of octopuses. I believe there's one called like the wolf, like wolfy. I don't know, me and Kaden were just going over this. That's why what got me so excited about this. But they are itty bitty. Look how tiny. Look how itty bitty those little octopuses are. They're so cute. I love them. Wait, you can have them as pets? We can have them as pets. So I'm going to be researching how to keep an octopus as a pet after this, but... Um, hi guys! Right, we're still filming YouTube. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, the pygmy octopus is adorable. It's adorable. They're really small. Can you have a pygmy octopus as a pet? Oh, you can! octopus is adorable, obviously. Um, apparently they reach a maximum length of about 15 centimeters and they're just all tiny. Anyways, we're gonna move on. I mean, I'm not gonna move on emotionally, but we're gonna move on to more octopuses. How about the giant Pacific octopus? This one's pretty typical. Giant Pacific octopus. So these guys are gorgeous. They are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and they're also freaking huge they're really big are they friendly apparently they're usually friendly that's cool apparently they're the longest living species of octopus which is sort of cool octopuses are sort of funny in that like they're cephalized obviously that's where like the term like cephalopod comes from and cephalization refers to the collection of nerve organs nerve organs nerve like sense organs at like the head or one center of the body. So cephalopods are cephalized, which basically just means they have a cool brain. They're literally named after a brain, which is, I love brains, I love octopuses. Here we are. By the way, cephalopod refers to like octopuses, cuttlefish, and squids. Those are major cephalopod groups, you know? What was I saying? Anyways, oh right, they're cephalized, but they developed completely independent of like mammals. So their cephalization is completely different. And I can make a whole video about like octopus brains because I think they're amazing. But they only live like two years, like between six months and five years might be the longest they ever live, which is crazy because they're such highly developed creatures. Like why on earth don't they live longer? And I think it's kind of a mystery to scientists at this point too and biologists. They're kind of like, what? That doesn't make sense. I believe like octopus intelligence has been equated to that of a house cat, but in reality I think that they probably just have different kinds of intelligence and octopuses might actually be smarter, but that's just a hunch on my part. Maybe I'm biased because I don't like cats and I do like octopuses. So yeah. Octopuses are amazing. I love octopuses. And I hope you do too. My camera died. But anyways, comment your favorite octopus down below, whether it was on this list or if I missed it, I'm sorry. But um, I wasn't trying to get all of the octopuses in there, obviously, because there's so many. But yeah, comment your favorite octopus so you can be octopus nerds together. Comment your favorite octopus fact. I would love to learn more facts about octopuses. Also, like our videos, subscribe to our videos, watch the heck out of our videos so that YouTube will give us money. And then I can buy an octopus pet because that would make my life complete. <laughs> During our asking for questions for our q and video that will be here sometime, we have all the questions, we tried filming, it was, it'll get to you. Anyways, during that, a lot of people were asking me about octopuses and I felt like, that's so cool. People are like, 
invested in my interest in octopuses and maybe they're just fellow cephalopod lovers. I don't know, it was really exciting so hopefully this has attracted your attention this video here. Like I said, comment anything about octopuses. I feel like I kind of look like an octopus with my new hair. It's like, like cool colors, like bioluminescent vibes. I don't know. Thank you for visiting this space on the internet. Bye. We'll see you.